Hello ladies and gentlemen, there are a few things you'll need to do before you can switch on the healer. I'll point him out after I showed the clip. Uh, you might recognize the druid, he played with Breakful and livestreams himself quite a lot. We won the game because we killed the druid in the switch and he died within like 2-3 seconds and you uh, need to force a few things before you actually even want to try switching for a healer. Enjoy the clip guys. Cool rank. And this one. Nice. Holy hop. Cloning DK. Nice. I stun him. I stun I'm him. in this thingy. Pushing. I stun him mage. And it's not Druid to force drink it. Bashing him actually to force block. Druid there. Oh they're gonna be so. Okay right. cloning DK full soon. Sam DK. I'm full this time. Fake me, I'm gonna take next with the typhoon. Oh fuck. Stunning measure? Stunning measure, just go blink. Oh no? Nice. I can't go DK. Cloning mage, cloning mage, cloning mage. Mage is full clone. Stunning it? I can't drink this. I'm counter filling cast around the Cloning mage now. Cloning DK. DK. Oh yeah, fuck dice bomb. Fuck dice bomb. DK full clone. No. Let's switch your, switch your, switch your everything on the druid. Everything, no joke. Maiming a fool, maiming a fool. Kill, kill, kill. He's dead. Yes. He's dead. Oh, nice man. <laughs> Holy shit. We did this place this time. First of all. Have you even here? Yep. Yeah. Cloning DK. He popped ice bomb. They have spent everything in that last fight now. I'm still there. Uh, oh, he's dead. Bashing him. Right, so the mage starts off with a presence of mind into Ring of Frost. It's a, it's a way to get a lot of pressure at the start, but he won't be able to peel with Ring of Frost for the next 90 seconds because if you don't have Ring of Frost instant, it's almost impossible to get off since we're sitting on the mage. Uh, the druid used 3 firm because he couldn't keep up with our damage, but we didn't use our cooldown, so that's really good. And uh, he used his drink on my NS clone as well. Exactly what I predicted. So uh, everything's going very well for now. Um, the DK, yeah, right now I played it in slow motion. He just used his first grip, and he's about to use his second grip there. So um, that's really good as well. If we would switch on the druid now, he can't grip us, so DK can't really peel any more than that. He can, of course, slow us, but it doesn't really affect me as a feral druid. And uh, the mage just used deep freeze as well. Plus, the druid used displacer beast, so they basically don't have anything to escape or peel. And uh, that's why the druid dies within one second. You should also keep track of the druid has hots on himself. He might predict the uh, the switch on himself, so he starts doing a, a few hots on himself, and that might keep him alive as well. But. Uh, yeah, the six points I uh, I showed you. I mean, it's not necessary to force all the six points, but the more you force before you go for a switch, the better it is. Because let's say uh, the mage's deep freeze was ready and the DK's two grips were also ready, and uh, we went for a switch, the DK would just grip Spoofy and the mage would deep freeze me, for example, and yeah, the druid would have survived. And uh, one thing it might might tip is to not switch for a healer when this trinket is ready because you'll just instantly trinket the full stun and, and use something like displacer beast and get away so if you blow all your cooldowns and he gets away by just trinketing your stun that's that's a waste of all your cooldowns to be honest so don't do that and keep in mind the more the more things you will force and you need to have a lot of awareness for this but let's say you know that defreeze is off cooldown and the DK just used grip they can't really peel you that much, so yeah, just wait for the druid to be in a good position and go for the switch. He should die. And uh, well, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. Hopefully, see you in my next videos. Bye.